What's good, YouTube? This your boy Lang, man, and I'm back here with another reaction video. Slime right now. I'm about to react to the Chessboard Killer by Serial Killer Files. You feel me? Y'all already know me. I tell y'all all the time. I love doing these type of videos, the forensic videos. To me, are my favorite reactions to do. You feel me? Like I love the mu I love the music reactions, and I love the freaking funny videos reactions, but. You feel me? I love the forensics because, number one, you feel me, it's real. You feel me, it's based off true stories, and you hear the most insane stuff, like, the most insane things you never thought could happen to somebody. You feel me? Like, it's crazy, but I love it. You feel me? In a sense. Like, it's weird, but it is what it is. Like, I love, like, watching forensic stuff. You feel me? Like, that's just me. You feel me? And I know a lot of y'all that's new over here, like, um, y'all know me for the music reactions, you feel me? But y'all y'all probably don't know, like, certain days, you feel me? Like, I take a break from the music reactions, you feel me? And I do the forensic videos, the funny videos, just different type of videos, you feel me? From the music reactions, you feel me? Like, we just, we just, we just, you feel me? We, 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 we expand over here, you feel me? Like... We not throwing in just the music reaction box, you feel me? Like, we do it all, you feel me? Like, we do it all over here. The funny videos, forensics, the music, like, we do it all, you feel me? Like, that's just what we do over here, you feel me? So, that's just for the new, that's just for the new homies and the homegirls, you feel me? Because I know I get a lot of new people over here, you feel me? But the people that's been over here, they know what it is, you feel me? Like, this is what we do over here. And before I get started, y'all make sure to hit that sub button. If y'all new over here, you feel me? Like, hit that sub button, bro. You feel me? Like, hit that. <laughs> but other than that, you feel me? I hope y'all having, like, it's, what's today? Saturday? Yeah, it's Saturday morning. So I hope y'all, well, whenever y'all get this, because y'all know, like, sometimes I be holding reaction videos for a while, and then I release them, like, two, three days late. So, bro, don't even, y'all be like, bro, my bad. But when that, whatever day it is, whatever day y'all watching this, bro, happy Saturday, Sunday. You feel me? I hope y'all having a good weekend. You feel me? Like, like, for real, for real. I hope y'all chilling, doing whatever y'all doing. You feel me? Like, I hope y'all having a good time. And right now, you already know we about to chill. So make sure you. Grab your favorite snack, yo, your favorite, you feel me, your favorite whatever, you feel me, because we about to chill, you feel me, and this that chessboard killer, let's get into this thing, slime, let's go. For some, there's not much more fun than going to a park. However, the definition of fun varies from person to person. This week, we discuss the chessboard killer, Alexander Pachushkin. Let's open the serial killer file. question that an accident can leave a child damaged for the rest of their lives. Thanks. Alexander Petrushkin was born in Matushi, Russia on April 9th, 1974. He was a healthy and normal child until he suffered an accident while riding a swing at a local park. Just as he was swinging, he fell back, hitting the back of his head. Mm. Trying to hold on to the swing, he managed to slam the front of his head onto the pavement, resulting mm. in damage to his frontal cortex. Following the accident, he began to act impulsive and fall into fits of rage. Due to his developmental and behavioral issues, his mother transferred him into a developmental school for children with special needs. Alexander was humiliated by this, and it only made things much, much worse. Schoolmates from his previous school began to verbally and physically abuse him whenever they had a viable opportunity. He was beat and called derogatory names for going into a special needs school. But you know what's crazy, though, bro? I dealt with the same type of stuff. Well, not the same type of stuff bro had, but I definitely had, like, bro, like, I was in special ed class, too, like, all that, you feel me? Like, some, like, all of us, bro, like, we all got 
our flaws, you feel me? Like, everybody not perfect, you feel me? Like, like me, like, I got a stuttering problem, all that, like, a reading problem, like, everything, like, I had a lot of, like, problems in school, you feel me? People used to clown on me, but, bro, like, looking back at it, bro, like, you can't really clown somebody because, bro, they didn't ask for that problem, like, they didn't ask for that to happen to them, you feel me? Like, like, that's, that's sucker sh if you ask me, like, if you clowning on somebody that got problems, like, disorders and stuff that they can't help, you feel me? Like, they were born like that, you feel me? And you a sucker. If you ask me, like, you a, you, you a weirdo, you feel me, like, straight up, like, and if y'all got problems out there, like, if y'all got, like, disorders or, like, special ed stuff going on with y'all, like, bro, don't let, like, don't let that stop you, you feel me, because the same people that are clowning on you, bro, like, is the same people that's, that's really got something going on with they self, like, they got self issues, they self, you feel me, so don't let them, De deteriorate you from doing anything you feel me because you can do whatever you want to do you feel me it don't matter if you got special ed like none of that you feel me do what you want to do you feel me don't let nothing stop you you feel me like and to those that are the people that's out here doing that type of sh and bullying people like for that for their problems bro like I hope y'all get what y'all deserve you feel me like I hope y'all get what's coming to you you feel me because it ain't cool you feel me just don't do it, you feel me, because they didn't ask for that problem, you feel me, so don't clown them for something that that they had no control over, you feel me, that's, that's suckerish, if you ask me, being real. It's only formed aggression inside of him. Once making his way into adolescence, Alexander's grandfather insisted that his schooling was failing him. He recognized how intelligent Alexander was and felt his talents were wasting away. Since he wasn't involved in any activities, his grandfather began taking him to bits of park to play chess. The hobby showed his true skills, and he became highly competitive in the game. Mm. For once, he found a way to channel his inner aggression and turn to a game of chess for a chance at dominating others. Despite his newfound love for chess, students and children still didn't hesitate to bully him, no matter what he did. Things would never be the same for Alexander once his grandfather passed away. Having lost a father figure who truly saw his potential and understood his emotional pain, he began to heavily partake in drinking, numbing the sadness and anger that was settled deep inside of him. The great loss of his grandfather flipped a switch inside Alexander. Following his life into alcoholism, he took out his dark emotions on elderly homeless citizens near him. He would interact mm. with the homeless and gain their short-lived trust by offering them a bottle of vodka. Once drinking with a man or woman, he would lure them into bits of park, smash the bottle, and then ram the sharp, broken end of the bottle into his victim's skull, killing them in a slow and excruciating method. The beginning of his killings were speculated to occur in 1992 and only progressed as time went on. For 14 years, he would go on to kill over 60 innocent people. Aside from luring homeless, he would go out of his way to act social with people he met on the street. Once gaining the trust of the man, woman, or child, he would walk them to secluded areas of the park and at the right moment would violently beat his victim in the head with a hammer he carried in his bag. Other methods in Yeah, bro, bro right here, bro. You I don't you get no sympathy from me. Like again, y'all whoa, he got it. bro, listen. Yeah, I get it. I get you were getting clowned on, I get. You lost your grandfather, bro, but that don't give you no reason out here to kill. And you killing little kids, bro. Once you kill a kid, to me, you get no sympathy from me. Like, that sucker sh if you ask me again. Like, bro already needs to, like, bro already gets no sympathy from me. Like, like, bro, I was with you. Like, I, I understood you. Like, I get people clowning on you. Like, I get losing your grandfather, you feel me? Like, but... The killing sh and killing kids, bro. I can't, I can't agree with that. You feel me? To me, and you doing this because your grandfather died, bro. I got over fifty homies that's dead. My mom's is dead, bro. You don't see me out here killing nobody. Feel me? So there's no excuse. It's just me. With luring victims and tossing them into sewers located in the park. Russian police did have the opportunity to stop this senseless killer. However, foolishly, they did not. 
In February 2002, Maria Viracheva was questioned by police after she was admitted to the hospital for unusual injuries she encountered while lost in a sewer. The pregnant woman met Alexander on the street, and the two struck up a conversation. Financially unstable and soon to be an expecting mother, he insisted he would help her. He stated that he had hidden electronics inside bits apart. If she wanted some extra cash, she could sell what he was offering her for free. Lured deep into the park, he pointed at a manhole and told her to look inside the hole to see his hidden gadgets. As she did, he began pushing her head and body inside the manhole. Panicking, she could no longer endure his strength and fell eight meters into the darkness of the sewer. Frightened, Maria was determined to escape for the sake of her unborn child. Hours of endurance led her to find an iron ladder, which led her to the surface of another manhole entrance. Once talking to police, they dismissed her case and went on without investigating the man who attempted to kill her. With luck, Alex... Bro, what type of police y'all got going on? You feel me? Like, that's bad police work. Y'all police, I don't... What? What is that? Bro, she just told you she was up there and all that. Y'all, oh, bro, it's, it's all good. Like, bro, y'all need to be slapped in the face. What's wrong with y'all? Like, are you dumb? Are you stupid? Are you goofy? Which one is it? What the, this is why, that's why I tell you, this is why I say I don't mess with police. I don't trust police because they don't do nothing. Like, a lot of police don't do nothing. Yeah, you could tell them what's going on. Me, I don't talk to the police ever, but... Other people, I know they talk to the police about, bro, about stuff, and I didn't see police, like, I didn't see people talk to police about stuff, and police don't do sh you feel me, so, I look at it like, bro, I'm doing everything in my own hands, you feel me, like, because police, certain situations, they just don't care, so, if they don't care, I don't care, so... That's why I tell y'all, bro, all, that's why I tell y'all, like, if you 21 and up or you 18 above and y'all watch me, bro, get a gun. I don't care what nobody's telling y'all because you will rather get caught with it than without it. Feel me? Because in her situation, she ran and told the cops and they didn't do nothing. Feel me? So that lets that 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 would have let me know, OK, y'all don't care. Then I'm going to kill him on my own. Cause he not he he's keep bro. This is a like it's a, it's a recycle like it keeps happening. You feel me like that police department is trash. Like y'all are garbage for that. You feel me? Straight up, bro. That's why I listen. Like I said, if you twenty one and up or eighteen, like yeah, twenty one and up. I don't think you. I mean, you can get a strap at a younger age, but you feel me? But for the before. Like, the legal, bro, for my 21 and up people, bro, or I don't care, you could be young, whatever, bro, get protection, straight up, because you gotta watch out for people like this dude, feel me? So, just, just adds up, you feel me, like, straight up. Ender continued going about his murderous lifestyle. Though he managed to possess an impossible amount of luck, in 2006, his luck took a swift turn. In the spring of 2006, police uncovered the body of 36-year-old Marina Moskalyova, a mother who was supposed to go on a date with the serial killer. Police reached a break in the hunt to catch him when they discovered a metro ticket in the pocket of the body. Video surveillance from the metro subway showed Marina's final hours as she was making her way to Bitsa Park with her unsuspected killer who was carrying his murder weapon during the commute. Mm. The son of the victim had received a note from his mother which stated where she was going, who she was with, and Alexander's telephone number in case of emergency. This led police directly to the serial killer. Alexander was arrested on June 16th, 2006 and was convicted of 49 murders and three attempted murders on October 24th, 2007. As police searched his home, they discovered a chessboard with multiple squares written on, symbolizing the age of each victim he had murdered. Prior to his trial, he was escorted to Bitsa Park where he displayed the whereabouts of more than 40 of the bodies and giving police detailed descriptions of how each were killed. His precise memory helped aid police in discovering missing persons during the case. During his trial, he was kept behind a glass cage for his protection from family members in the courtroom. Alexander was sentenced to life in prison with the first 15 years to be spent in solitary confinement. Alexander... Wait, so you telling me he only got life for that, bro? He should have got the death penalty for that. Bro, he killed people. No, bro, he killed over 40-something people. What you mean? 
Like, and then if the police would have did their job the first time, that would have not even happened. So, to me, they just let, bro, they gave bro a slap on the wrist if you ask me. Like, life, bro, you deserve, like, death. What do you mean, life, bro? You deserve death. And I don't wish death on nobody, but people like you, bro, you deserve, you deserve to die. You 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 put people, bro. You killed people, so you deserve the same type of fate that you put them through. In my opinion, that's not justice to me. Y'all can say what y'all want to go, Lang, bro. Bro, life is life is good. No, it's not, bro. He killed over. He killed children. He killed kids. All that f for nothing. But you deserve death, bro. They 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 gave they they. It went too easy on you, you feel me? Way too easy. Mm. Ruthless nature and lack of remorse has renewed an interest in Russia's death penalty. At the age of 41, he continues to serve his time in solitary confinement for his actions. That's all for now. Before we go, I'd like to give a very special shout out to Audible. Anyway, I'm going to end it right there. Like I said, the chessboard killer, bro, to me, you deserve death, in my opinion. Like, you kill innocent people for no reason. Like... You get no sympathy from me. You feel me? At all. Like, nah. And, but, like I said, if y'all new over here, like I said, if y'all new over here, make sure y'all hit that sub button. I know I'm repeating myself, bro, but it's early in the morning, bro. Like, I just woke up. So, y'all, you feel me? Depending on, like I said, what day this goes up. Like, it's so right now, it's Saturday, but knowing me, I'll probably put this up Sunday. Like, it is what it is. But, uh... Like I said, um, I love y'all. If y'all new over here, make sure to hit that sub button. Like I said, I do the forensic videos, music videos, funny videos. We doing it all over here, you feel me? And we just going to keep it going over here. And I'm going to holler y'all in the next one, slime. One, y'all stay safe. I love y'all.